Okay, if you've watched my previous videos, you'll see I pre-shampooed this with the Auric Green Brush and I extracted with the cotton pad. I've got my Grande Groomer and a little bit of CLO2 mixed in a spray bottle. And CLO2 is chlorine dioxide. You can find a previous video of mine. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Explain where you can purchase that. And it is a disinfectant and also it kills odors. And there was really no heavy odor, just there was dog poop here. So I'm kind of misting it and letting it settle onto the carpet and then I'm gonna groom it all into the fibers. And it kills pretty much 99.9% .9 of everything it comes in contact with. So including the coronavirus, which is good. And by the time I get out to this garage door, my forearm will be twice as big from pumping this sprayer. <laughs> I have a small handheld pump up one, but I already had the solution in here before I got here. And the results came out absolutely amazing. I mean, that little Auric Orbiter, and I only used a tiny bit, but the Auric Orbiter is just absolutely phenomenal. I mean, if you use it properly, you know, it takes some learning. There's a curb to it. You can watch my videos. I've been playing with different pads, different um, towels, different cleaning solutions. Uh, just use it without the shampoo brush used the black shampoo brush, found out the green one works a lot better. And I mean, doing it my way, there other people do it their way and I appreciate that. I'm just sharing what I do here. So if you like what you see, you can duplicate the results. I'm not hiding anything. And these rakes, man, they're just, really good at pulling the fiber up making the carpet just look like brand new again sorry for all the background noise I stopped for a quick lunch break and thought I'd throw, throw these videos up so when I get home I'll be able to spend time with my wife instead of uploading and take a look at that and these some of the darkest i think there was a dark spot right there that's only because i sprayed it real heavy and it's just a little more damp than the rest of the carpet so that'll dry but i mean everything came out i shampooed out all that dog poo and the pads were pretty soiled gonna have to clean those And just for my safety, I've been, before I get in the van, I take that CLO2 and I spray over my equipment and the dirty pads <clears throat> around the front of my van inside. It's safe, it's medical grade, so you don't have to worry about that, but it's good to disinfect and keep myself safe. And there's a lot of wear on these fibers. It's that typical like, I don't know what I call it, a tweed frise, that light tan with little brown specks. Carpet cleaning guys, you know what I'm talking about, and girls. It can be one of the more difficult carpets to clean, but it's coming out beautiful. Whoops, gotta get my check. And now I'll have to Regroom the footprints I just put in there. I've told the elderly lady that lives here and her caregiver to stay off of it for about 30 to 40 minutes. Let the CLO2 do its thing. And I would imagine in about 40 minutes it'll be fully dry anyway. Almost done. If you can give it, and the carpet I did oh, yesterday 30, was similar to this, but it was a gray, I put off a grayish color. Special disinfectant and on the surface. My client um, text messaged me this morning 
But everything said, came out. It looked absolutely beautiful. He just wanted beautiful. me to know that his wife came yeah. home and she was absolutely thrilled with the carpets. And she could not believe that the... Yeah, I'll go out. I'll let your daughter know that from her son's room, so she wanted I'm to almost me. done. So it kind of makes you feel good. Oh, your friend, okay. And again, it's the product, CLO2, does the job. Oh, okay. Better than any enzymes I've ever used. Okay, that wraps it up for this video. Another fantastic job. Check me <laughs> out in the next episode, and stay safe. Okay.